I want to start with my friend and client, Tressa. And Tressa, um, I'm going to let her tell you what she does, but she's amazing. And she's been working working with us, and we've been working with her. And, and um, it's just been super, super fun. But she was able to go through Business with God uh, back a few weeks ago with us. And so I asked Tressa to come tonight and just share with us from her perspective um, what Business with God was like for her. And so, um, Tressa, it's great to have you here tonight. Thank you for taking time to come and share with us. Thanks, oh, always good to be with you. Yeah. So yeah. tell us about your business. Tell us who you serve and what you do. I am a doTERRA essential oils wellness advocate. I'm a holistic health coach certified. And I, te I started teaching yoga, but I found Christian yoga, which has kind of evolved into Christian fitness now. And that's kind of that in the health coaching has kind of become more of my focus. And a lot of that has happened because of um, meeting you and God <laughs> and what he's done. What made you join business with God? Like you're already, you're, you're already a believer. You're already doing a business. Like what was the attraction for you there? Uh, well, so it was really interesting because, you know, God has, I've been through a lot of challenges in my life. I've been divorced. My kid's father passed away. I, I cared for my mom and, you know, just a lot of really challenging things happened. And I always leaned into God and he guided me through everything. And then when COVID hit about a year ago, I was still grieving the loss of my mom, really trying to figure things out. And I just started praying like, okay, God, you got to help me with this business. Like, where am I going? What am I doing? And one day on Facebook, you appeared and it just, everything started to fall into place. And doing business with God solidified everything for me because knowing that he's my boss mm -hmm. and that I'm working for him just changed my perspective on everything. And I look to him now to just guide me like I did with all the other things. And when I look back, I'm like, why wasn't I even thinking that? But it took the course to kind of pull it together for me and really remind me like he's in charge. Just let him be. But I have to tell you one really important thing that happened in this last course was someone that I was talking to one day in our little small group during class. Um, and we were just talking about trusting God and we were talking about Peter and you know how he got out of the boat and you have to get out of the boat. No matter how much you trust him, you can't, he's not going to do it unless you get out of the boat and you work with him. And so that was a huge takeaway for me this time. And um, it's a constant daily reminder. He's reminding me, get out of the boat and take my hand and we'll do this together. I love that. Getting out of the boat though, what, what does that mean for you exactly? Well, I think sometimes we get stuck in our head and even though we know that this is what he wants us to do, like I've been really challenged lately with technology and just Facebook ads and all this craziness. But if I stop and I think that I'm like, okay, trust him, try it. What's the worst thing that can happen? You fail, you try again, but he's not going to let you down. I mean, if I look back at my life 20 years ago, I was a single mom working some weeks, five hours a week. And I was charging everything on credit cards and I thought I was going to lose my house. Well, here I am 20 years later, still in the same house. Things have, you know, he's always blessed me. So why would it be any different with my business? I have to get out of the boat and trust him. You know, he will take your hand and he will guide you. You just have to let him. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. And I love the confidence that I see in you now. It really shows on your face as you walk through this, um, that, that you have more confidence. It comes from him because he's shown me what he wants me to do and that it's okay. Like it may be a struggle for a little bit, a little while, like, you know, I'm, you know, paying my bills is still a bit of a struggle right now. I'm not going to lie that it's not perfect. You know what I mean? You know, he puts a dream in our heart and he gives us this vision, but it's his, it's his vision. He just gives it to us and says, okay, this is what I want you to do with your life. This is how I want you to help people. And I see that happening and just little things like I've been a speaker at two online conferences in the last month and a half that I never dreamed would have happened, but all happened through this process of meeting you and, you know, the things that have happened. And so it's like, he's just saying, trust me, it's coming, it's coming. 
just keep trusting me. And he blesses you if you do that. So I think that's where it comes from, you know, and you just get up every day and say, okay, I'm going to get out of the boat and we'll see where it goes. I love that. So you're running your own business mm -hmm. and you also work part time in a different a a avenue yep. and everything else that you do. Talk to us about how you made the time to do the work for business with God, because we've told folks, you know, there's a weekly video to watch. Mm -hmm. There's weekly reading to do. There's the weekly workbook. There's the, the live class to show up to. Yeah. How did you how did you find a way to fit that into your schedule and get it all done? Well, I blocked the time for the class, the live classes because I wanted to be there live as as often as I could. And I think I ate most of them. So I just blocked that time in my calendar and said, this is going to be, you know, your hour that you're going to do this. And once I started reading the books and getting into the content, it was easy because they're fabulous and I wanted to do it. And by the end, I was doing it like as soon as the one class was over, I was jumping in and just getting it done. And I would just find time, you know, it's, it's a couple hours. It's not like it's that much, but it's so good. And when you get into it, you're so like, oh, wow. And it just grabs you. And so it was easy for me to fit it in because I so wanted to do it. Share something with us that was like something that stood out to you from from what you learned in the class. One of the big things that. Well, I really loved. I mean, everything was great, but the book um, that talked about what do you know about your God and just getting into that scripture and really like when something happens, stop and think like, what do I know about God? Look at this circumstance or whatever's <laughs> happening. What do I know about God and how is he going to help me with this? And I started writing scriptures out and it was so affirming to me. Like he's right there, no matter what happens, you know, he's in control. He's our protector. He's our provider. He, we can trust him, just everything. And so that was huge for me because um, I, I'm a Catholic, cradle Catholic girl. And growing up, reading the Bible was not like, it's just not a Catholic thing that we do. And so as an adult, learning to read scripture and really get into the Bible, which I've been doing a lot more the last few years, has been huge for me. And going to those um, scriptures to affirm what's going on and know that he's got it is huge. And so that that was a great part of it for me. I love that. I love yeah. that. And moving forward, what would you say is the biggest shift or the biggest change that will happen in your business because you had this experience? Uh, well, trusting him is opening up so many doors and possibilities, and it's giving me the confidence to try new things that I never would have thought of before. Um, and I met incredible people that I'm working with. So, you know, collaborating and just connecting with. And the other thing for me is that I'm, I'm a little bit older. I'm in my late 50s. And I think it's a, I've come to this part of my life where I'm like, I'm going to work with the people that I'm meant to work with. And this has really affirmed that for me. And now I'm okay with, you know, if I, I meet somebody and we kind of don't mesh and they don't kind of my values and theirs don't really connect up. I'm really okay with letting that person go and saying someone else is going to work with them. They're not going to be mine and that's okay. And so just trusting God I think is opening so many doors and I see the possibilities as endless of where this can go for me. Love it. Love it. You know, one of the big things that I hear people say about maybe not taking the next step is like, I don't, I don't know if I've got the time. And you just said that you put it on the calendar, you made the time and it, and it came more easily as you got into it. Right. Oh yeah. Um, was there anything at the beginning that you felt like, Oh, I don't know if I could do this or, should I really add something else to my plate? Like, was there was there a struggle like that going into it and, and what changed your mind? I'm busy and there's always that, you know, should I do one more thing? But I really prayed about it and I really felt strongly that it was something that I really needed for my business. And I think if you pray and you put it in his hands and he just said, yes, you need to do this and make the time and make it happen. And if it's something that's that important and he wants you to do it, he's going to make, he's going to help you figure it out. So, yes. and it's well, well worth it because it's so good. It's so good. good. 
Are you going to, are you going to come back as alumni and take it again sometime? Yes, definitely. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you, Tressa. Anything else you want to say tonight? No, just, you're just amazing. And God, I am so grateful that he crossed our paths the way he did and working together with you has just been such a blessing. And um, anybody that has the opportunity to take your course should definitely take advantage of it. It's awesome. Well, thank you. And thank you for, thank you for taking time to, to share with us tonight. And oh, yeah. I really appreciate you. So. Love it. Absolutely. Have a great praise party. All right. Thank you, Tressa. I'm just thrilled to be taking the next steps with those of you who are joining us in Business with God. So businesswithgod.online is where you can go for that and get registered. Just so, so excited about what God is doing in our next steps. So this is an incredible time to be alive and to think that out of all the times in history, God could have put you into the world. It was right now. You here for these people that you get to touch for this work that you get to do for his glory. It is absolutely thrilling. And I'm so excited that you have seen ways to show up and love those people more and serve your God better and glorify him more this week. And I'm excited for, for those that will continue the practice of this in the business with God class for, with us. God bless you guys. Have a great night.